Hey there, Aries. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is a general message. Take it if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. You do not have to be an Aries for this to resonate. If you're cross-watching, I might be speaking directly to you. We're using the Light Series Tarot. Let's see what we get. For Aries, please and thank you. Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're walking away from something because it's just never going to return what you have put in. Something, someone. Oh, this is making me think of that movie Money Pit. This couple buys a house and as much as they put into this thing, it just keeps falling apart and it's absolutely a money pit. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm walking away from it though. It's just never going to produce what you invested. Ace of Swords. Yeah, you cut. You cut and walked. This connection is done. You maybe had to speak some truth too. This person may have asked, like, why are you doing this? Why are you walking away? Why are you <clears throat> giving up on us or whatever it is you guys got going together here? Why don't you want to be my friend anymore? Why don't you? Why aren't you there for me anymore? And it's really simple, you know? When are they there for you? They might not want to hear it, but it is the truth, isn't it? Ace of Swords. Truth be told. You were never going to pay me back. You were never going to keep that promise. You were never going to show up and do what you said were you? I didn't think so. The jig is up. Oh, what's that? The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, whatever you guys were working on, you likely have other people you can work on it with. Or simply, you would rather just cut this person out of the loop. Maybe even just going solo, working on things on your own. You know you've got friends. You know you've got support. You've got somebody that cares, that's checking in on you. Even if you don't really care for them, they're there for you. You have someone. Utilize that. You have someone in your life for a reason while you go through this. Utilize that, guys. High Priestess. Yep, they are in your life for a reason. You know that. I know that. This is part of it. Yeah. Your intuition also could have told you that something was going on while your person was at work. Or um, there was more to a situation than they were letting on. Yeah, I feel like you upheld your end of the bargain and intuitively picked up that this person was not going to uphold theirs. You trust your intuition, you likely call them out on it, and you were right. And with this truth, with this knowledge, you're cutting this connection. 404 on the uh, timestamp when I said that. Yeah, because we keep going down 10 to 6 to 3 to 2. We've even got a 1 in here. 3, 2, 1. <clears throat> yeah, ace to 3. Two steps forward, one step back. Down to the 2. That's how it is with this person. Two steps forward, one step back. I bet you even said that once or twice before uh, when trying to work with this person, whatever it is you try to work on with them. Four pentacles. This is like a countdown. <laughs> and most of them are pentacles too. Six. We're missing the five. Four, three, two, one. But that ten is the ending. It's the ending. It's the final count. 
countdown. Do, 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 do. Six of Cups. <laughs> I just did that. What else do we have here? Six of Cups. Yeah, this person is a part of your past now. But those promises they made that you've been holding, you know, holding them in high regard. Like, this is a good person. They have good intentions. They're genuine. They're kind. They're loving. They're there for you. And then this person doesn't follow through. For some of you guys, maybe you put in a good word at work for this person and somebody trusted you. And then this person, maybe they're jeopardizing your job. And you're like, what do I hold on to? That which sustains my income and puts the food on the table and helps support me? Or that which threatens me losing, risking the loss of all that? <laughs> like, um, it's kind of a no-brainer here. So if somebody wants you to explain why, <laughs> they're not going to like it, but it's the truth, man. It's the truth. This is why. Because you did these things... And then you didn't do those things after you said you would. It's like you you did what you said you were going to do and this person just didn't. It, it's sad. It's unfortunate. Seven of Cups and the Hanged Man. Yeah, this person's looking at different options, ways that you guys can go about whatever it is this is that you're working on. And you're like, listen, buddy, I'm looking, I'm looking to let you go. I can't do this anymore. Some of you guys might actually be um, employers or managers. You get to do the hiring and the firing, right? That's on you. That's a part of your job title. Some of you guys might have to um, fire somebody here. It looks like you're holding on to your friend and letting go of somebody who's newer to the job because they um, pose too much of a threat. Or this is somebody who's very young and they do not have a lot of work experience, period. Like this is their first job and I don't really think they're showing themselves to be such an asset, right? So you might be letting that person go. This could also be you guys hiring a friend but worried about uh, if, how different it's going to be when you guys hang out, right? Not wanting work to come in between the friendship that you have. Um, I don't see this as a lover. I see this as a friend. A very dear friend, right? Some of you guys are not going to give them an opportunity to work with you because you're worried about how it's going to change the friendship when you guys are hanging out, right? Right? You don't want to be hanging out and then the whole conversation or the majority of it be surrounded on work, right? You deal with work when you're there, but when you leave, you leave your job there. Just like when you walk in, you leave your personal outside, right? Yeah. That's interesting. Got a few different situations on this one. Hopefully one of them resonates with you. If not, hopefully there's still something you were able to take away. Ugh, the misreading. Four of Swords, resting, healing, recovering. Three of Wands. Yeah, this is all in preparation for something that's coming up. Especially when it's sitting that close to the High Priestess and Four of Swords. You had a vision. You had a vision. You foreseen something. You picked up the forecast. And you are right. You are right. Hold on to what it is that you saw. Whatever this vision was, you know, and it looks like some of you guys are actually given this vision because you have options. If you don't like what you saw, I'm getting here that you can change it, right? You might have to sacrifice something or looking at it in a different perspective. Well, what if you take this route instead, do this instead, right? The Six of Cups gives me very childlike vibes and right now I'm getting Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny, should have taken a left at Albuquerque. You can see this vision, right? Nostalgia, memories of the past. When we were younger. Aw. And then you got all the, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Anyways. Anyways, I hope this helps somebody. We got Pisces energy um, out here with both the High Priestess and Hangman. That's it for the majors.
Ace of Swords is uh, the air signs, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. But yeah, guys, that's what I've got today. Trust your gut on this. And if you were given a vision and you don't like it, you have options. You can change things to get a different outcome. But take your time, sleep on it before you go making any moves. You guys are about to literally work some magic. This is really cool. Have fun. If you want to, let me know how it goes for you or how it went for you if this already happened in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.